So, believe it or not, this is July. What day is it? Um, July 8th. So this is July 8th in Hawaii. And I'm wearing a long sleeve sweater, pants, and we're sitting next to a fire. And everyone's bundled up. This is how cold it is up here. Camping. I have two pairs of pants on and two shirts on. I'm still a little chilly. Yeah. It's like, what, 70 degrees? Join us this weekend as we go camping at one of our favorite spots on the island, and that's Peacock Flats. Camping permits are required. See link in the description for more information. Since we typically head up there around lunchtime, we always like to make a pit stop at Tamura's to get some fresh poke. They also have a wide range of other food choices to choose from. She's getting some wings, but I'm going to get poke. That we have our snacks time to hit the road oh but wait what is this we got about a mile past this and had to turn around and try some deep fried curry puffs so what is a curry ball what is it what's in it it's a japanese curry and rice um, okay battered and deep fried okay so it's um it's a hush puppy style batter okay so cornmeal flour um, onion powder all that it's not something you traditionally find with Japanese curry, but uh, it works pretty well for it. So. That's why we stopped. We got it, that's why we stopped. We got a mile down the road where we were talking on the phone oh, like, yeah. what's a curry ball? I don't know, we gotta stop. We're like, yeah, we're turning around. Yeah, I think part of, part of it, the allure is. Yeah, what is it? The fact yeah. that nobody's ever heard of it. No. Yeah. Let's see what they look like. They look good. They smell amazing. Do they? Yeah, how was it? It's good. Is it worth the turnaround? Probably worth. It could worth the curiosity. Yeah. They should. They should put some meat inside. Yeah. What is it? It's all it's it is rice. is rice into a ball, battered like in a tempura batter and fried, and then curry sauce poured over it. In order to access the campground, you will need an escort through the Space Force base. Once you reach the top, you will then come to a dirt road. It is highly recommended that you have four-wheel drive, especially for the really wet days. We're up at the top of Peacock Flats where we're going camping. Air down the tires on the truck so we have no more comfortable ride. Yeah, now we're going to take the eight mile trek in. It's an eight mile, not too aggressive of a road. I mean, it can be if it's muddy. It's fun though. It's, it's, uh, we really enjoy coming up here. Um, feeling like you're up in the mountains somewhere. It kind of reminds me of like being up in the Sierra Nevada. So when you get up there, it's not even like you're, if you didn't see the ocean down below and the beach, you wouldn't think that you're in Hawaii. So it's kind of a nice break spot like we like to go along. So come along, check it out.
Be cautious while driving. It is a one-way road. There are hikers and you will occasionally encounter other drivers going the opposite direction. sleeping for the night. So we have our bed situated here. You can see our pillows, the two of us, double sleeping bag. We have an air mattress. And we can get in and out this way. And we also have side windows here so we can get a breeze on both sides they do close and there's a screen here so you can open that to get a breeze if we need uh, this right here that's our water tank so we could take showers or wash dishes we have this hose and this spout and it's sitting in the Sun right now so it's perfect it'll give us a nice hot shower we went to the beach a little bit earlier, so we're drying the laundry right now. And the rest of our gear is in the back seat of the truck. And that's it, this is home for the night. All these beautiful Norfolk pine trees. Gorgeous up here, nice like 74 degrees right now. I think it's gonna be a beautiful night out. If you're wondering about the restroom, there's two options. That's an option. And there's an outhouse. That's an option. Let's go check out the outhouse. Toilet paper that they brought around. Compostable. Gross. People in the valley, they don't understand. We're going to have a wood splitting competition here, so. I'll let you know how it goes. People in the valley. Wait, hang on, hang on. Oh, we need. Hit the same fucking wood as is solid, bro. Fuck, use the chainsaw, bro. No. You leave it up to me. me. We're not having a fire tonight. Bro. Okay, so. Bra. <laughs> Bra. Bra. Delvin. Delvin. I started next. it for him. Let's go, I rifle. Last time I brought Cheyenne up here, she did the whole pile like she that by herself. She did the whole pile. She did, didn't she? Like, you hadn't even, you just bought that. There you go. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Good job, Delvin. Yeah, I'm retiring. Zach, okay. <laughs> can you pull it out? Sorry, you're sitting on it. Oh. It's been the coolest. Yeah. Oh, Warm see? Head, I told you, I fucking saw this. Yeah. Okay. Should I take out the clams already, Ben? Sorry? You should take out the clams and let them come to room temperature for about three hours. Are, are you for real? No. All right, leave it? Yeah, I would say right until you're ready to oh, cook okay. it. Yeah. Come on, put your back in it. Uh, where's the little head swinging bag? Put that, I could duck, duck, duck try, while I'm... Try again. <laughs> That's supposed to move your neck. <laughs> We're gonna box later. I'm gonna show you my skills. Uh -huh. Let me get limber. <laughs> just warm up right now. Oh. Let me just warm up. Warm up. Oh, dude, oh. there you go. Fuck. These are weighted though. Th this like is. 10 pounds. Yeah. Oh, the other the ones you actually use are weighted. Yeah, but this is actually pretty good. You don't I mean, get it's got some ice. Just think about that, Delvin. <laughs> 
I don't want to go that far. I don't want to do that part. I don't want to do the head thing. It was just his initial when he first started moving. <laughs> the first time you went into it, Matt, you went like this. Like that, yeah. We're going to go forward. <laughs> rabbit punch? Isn't that forward. called a rabbit punch? You're making up maneuvers here. Where you hit somebody in the back of the head like that. <laughs> So what's this supposed to simulate? Like a fist coming at like, you? Like, yep. So like a, uh, uh, like this. So okay. you're supposed to like come in, yep. like, like then, that. No! That's <laughs> 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 so throw your jab. Like that. No. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I yep. see what you're saying. So, okay. Yeah, but then I just kick you. <laughs> <laughs> he always fights like that. In See? <laughs> You're too slow, Lisa. See, oh. Oh. Filming so and front stuff. foot, strong foot back or weak foot back? Strong, uh, strong foot, foot back. back. So your your so you weak are, foot yeah, forward you're out back. with your weak hand out front. Yeah. And then your your yeah. hammer is back here. Yeah. yeah. But hey, oh, don't do that. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> so oh shit! You got it. You just got to let it brush your face. So you don't want to come out. Yeah, you but what if it catches you? Have you. To. Huh? You don't move. Huh? What? Look, you're trying to distract the competition. <laughs> 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 it's coming. It's like, whoa. See, you're too slow. <laughs> like that. Oh, got your ass. <laughs> Chef Delvin doing his thing, dude. Chef Delvin getting down, bro. Hey, Rosie, don't eat that. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully it comes out good. It looks like it. I mean, it looks Only good. You made it a few times. Looks like you've made it a bunch of times, Delvin. <laughs> it does look like you made it a bunch this of times. This isn't your first rodeo. Are you enjoying the hammock? Yeah, I love it. It's so relaxing. I could fall asleep right now. Nice breeze. It's cool. So this is July 8th in Hawaii. And I'm wearing long sleeve sweater, pants. And we're sitting next to a fire. And everyone's bundled up. This is how cold it is up here. Camping. I have two pairs of pants on. And two shirts on. I'm still a little chilly. Yeah. That's pretty good. good. Yeah. Did you get any graham cracker or no! chocolate? <laughs> Hawaii in July, and I'm still in a hoodie, and we're making fires. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so we're just finishing up our uh, overnight camping trip up at Peacock Flats. Um, so everyone's kind of just finishing up the last touches of the packing up. We're all packed up and ready for the uh, trek out. Um, it was a great, great camping trip. It was, uns it felt really cold actually. Like last night, sweater weather and long pants. Yeah. It was definitely chilly up here. It was kind of refreshing. Um, nice to be able to put on a hoodie in the in July in Hawaii. You wouldn't think you would, but here we were. We were definitely cold. So if you know that you want to come up here and camp, you need to be. Um, 30 days out because these places fill up fast. There's only um, six camping spots, three on the upper, three on the lower. We're on the upper this time, spot seven. Yeah, I think yeah. spot seven, B, seven B. Um, and so they do fill up very quickly. Um, so you have to go to the DLNR um, camping website, register, and then um, you can book um, 
your camping spot. Um, and as you saw in the video, when you come up, you have to go through the uh, Space Force um, side. So they'll escort you through the base and then onto the dirt road that you saw in the video that we came in on. Um, just make sure you do have your vehicle registration and... Insurance. Yeah, registration, insurance. Um, they don't always check, but sometimes they check. Like this last time they checked, um, and that was a, maybe the first or second time that I've had them check, but they do random check. Um, also, make sure you bring up all the water you're going to need because there's no water up here. Yeah. Um, bring toilet paper. There is an outhouse and sometimes they have toilet paper in them, but not always. Um, and there's no electricity up here either. No, just the sun. There's solar electricity yeah. if you need. Yeah. So bring it. Over. Another rule is there are no ground fires. I will show you that people have built pits up here. We always bring like a solo stove. So that type of stove is okay. They do have, um, like grills, I'll put you a picture of it. Your typical camping grill, uh, um, they have it every beach park or whatever. Um, they, those are available if you don't have, but your fire needs to be contained. It cannot be on the ground. As you see, and I'll show you again, like people do big, build big fire pits up here with rocks, but technically you're not supposed to do that. Yep. And as always, make sure you pack your trash yes, out. Yes, please. Uh, many times we come up here and the place is trashed out. It's just a beautiful and special place um, that we will t usually try and police our area and then police others' areas if they left trash behind to keep it um, beautiful for the next guests. Yes, and speaking of trash, you do have to carry all the trash out with you. There's not like trash cans up here. Right. So make sure you bring trash bags and stuff too. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. In the valley, they don't understand the hands which built the roads. They shoveled coal, seeds were sown, dues were all but goddamn didn't go to play.